Off-pump coronary artery bypass surgery is doing bypass surgery on patient without being on the heart-lung machine, without stopping the heart. And this was um, pretty popular in the late 90s and early 2000s. It really kind of caught on and there were a lot of programs experimenting with it, learning how to do it, and, and uh, it became one of the more predominant ways of doing the procedure. Uh, over the years, uh, uh, it's been used by some surgeons and, and we've done some of it. We did our first case here in 1990 at St. Luke's. But we felt that uh, it was not applicable for very many patients and in fact, uh, did not produce the results we wanted to have. Um, we've come to find that the bypass grafts that are placed on patients that have the procedure done off pump um, tend not to stay open as long, uh, which in turn results in uh, more issues with uh, heart attack, chest pain, shortness of breath, heart failure, and, and ultimately long-term survival. And over the years, uh, the number of cases done across the country has diminished almost every year. It's under 10% now and most surgeons do not feel it's, it's the best way to do the operation. And I would have to imagine as we continue to get more and more data uh, and we get a better understanding of the long-term outcome, um, that number is going to continue to decline um, probably into the single, the, the single percentages. Um, I don't think it will completely go away, but I, I think that the number of programs doing it will be fewer and fewer as the years go by. We believe that uh, the important thing in cardiac surgery is clinical quality and patient safety, not a marketing gimmick.